Hey, long time no see. So, today I'm going to teach everybody how to professionally color your hair. You may know I'm a trained professional hairstylist. I've been doing hair for 10 years. And a lot of people at home just don't do it right. So, I'm going to teach you how to do it the best you can. First, your tools. You have a comb. Make sure it's a professional comb. Um, color of your choice, make sure it's professional. A brush, professional. Measuring cup, professional. Regular ones, they're not the same. Color key, professional. Yogurt container, supermarket. And peroxide. Now, if you notice, this one is prescription. You should always use prescription peroxide when you're coloring your hair. It, it just gives a richer, more long-lasting, shinier result. All right, so we'll get to mixing. I chose 6.3 to color my hair. Uh, that is dark golden blonde. Now, don't think because it says blonde that it's light. A six is actually pretty medium, and I'm going to use it to darken my hair. So you take it out, you put your professional color key on it. Do, do, do. Now, you have your measuring thing. It's professional, but since you're using a real grocery store yogurt container, you don't really need to measure. So... Put some in, just however much you think. All right, that seems good. I think I put about an eighth of a tube. Yeah, that's an eighth of a tube. Be sure to put it back in the box, otherwise it will not turn out. Now, shake your prescription peroxide. And um, again, you have your professional measuring cup. Not with this container. You really, you just don't need it. And just pour in some. Uh, yeah, it seems good. Now, there's a difference between hair peroxide and um, like wound peroxide. You're going to want to use wound peroxide because you can't get hair peroxide prescription. So this is 10% um, antiseptic peroxide. So you use that and then with your professional brush, stir it. You have to make sure it's stirred really well. Uh, with the medical peroxide, it is very hard to mix. You know, because it just, they say it wasn't made to be used with color. That isn't true. The origin of peroxide was hair color. Um, I believe the company Goldwell invented peroxide uh, in the late 70s. And it was for hair, and uh, the pharmaceutical industry only took it after, you know, big pharma, make you pay. Yeah. So, don't let big pharma fool you. Antiseptic was originally made for hair. Uh, instead of peroxide, you can also use um, rubbing alcohol or iodine. But in this case, I have my prescription peroxide on hand, so that's good. Now, you get everything out of your way. And it's easy to forget, since we're all born with big holes in our ears, that you've got to take your plugs out because you don't want to get hair dye on them. Because... The plugs are made of wood, and it's you just don't want that in your body. So you take out your natural plugs, and uh, you know, the world tells you, be ashamed of your naked ears, but there's nothing wrong with the human body. So there is no shame. You know, I'm probably going to be demonetized for this, but it's okay. You know, I'm progressive. So now you take your... Um, yogurt container and your professional brush and you section by section carefully 
apply the color to your hair. Very, very carefully. You wouldn't want to mess it up. You just, you know, centimeter by centimeter with scientific precision, you just, you know, sometimes you go to hairdressers and when they're applying your color, uh, they just put it on. However, you, it won't work. You have to very carefully put it on as I'm showing you. Now, every so often, oh, Ruby, uh, my monster's growling. Every so often, you're gonna wanna comb through it very carefully, section by section. making sure you keep all of your sections separate. As you can see, I'm using three sections for this technique and none of them are touching. Now, they say wear gloves. You really don't have to. Um, because hair and nails are made of the same material. So hair dye is nail dye. There's no reason you can't put brown hair dye on your nails and have yellowish orange kind of nicotine stained looking nails. You know, if you like that look, there's no reason you can't have it. Um, also, if you get dye all over your clothes, all you need is professional pharmacy Kleenex. You just wipe it right off because your pants are blood stained and ripped anyway. So that's fine. Your shirt, you know, just same, wipe it right off. Your shirt's black, so you can use a Sharpie. Okay. Don't bother wiping your hands because like I said, hair dye is nail dye. So you can get that 50 years smoking look just in five minutes. Okay. No, you really want to make sure you don't mix your sections. You want to get it right up in there. Just area by area, meticulously and carefully applying your color. And make sure you don't get any on your skin because it will stain almost permanently. It's called permanent hair dye. Um, permanent hair dye is actually used in tattoo ink uh, because it's permanent. So don't put any of this on your skin because it'll give you a tattoo. Uh, if you get it on your skin, it's too late. You will have to get laser or tattoo removal to remove the staining. Um, so you really want to be ultra careful not to get anywhere you don't want it. Perfect precision. Okay, now, if you have any left over, um, I mean, it kind of looks like chocolate pudding at this point, but despite it being in a yogurt container, it's not pudding. If you would have used alcohol um, instead of peroxide, you could eat it. Uh, you'd get drunk, but you could eat it. It would be like, like jello shots, but pudding shots. Um, but this one I use peroxide and you know how you, when you put it on a wound, it bubbles up. Well, it'll do that in your stomach and your stomach will explode. It'll rupture and fill your body with fizz and you'll explode and die. So you wouldn't want to eat peroxide. And iodine, you can't eat either. Like I said, it works with hair dye, but if you eat iodine, you know, iodine stains kind of blood colored, your skin will permanently turn that color uh, from the inside out. So do not ever eat 
hair color with iodine in it. Okay, now you see, I have been careful, precise. I've gotten no color where I don't want it. It is exactly, exactly perfect, very professional. Um, now, this is the kind of thing you should expect from your hairstylist, uh, especially if you pay a lot of money. You know, if you pay over $80 for your color, really, you shouldn't have to accept anything less than what I just showed you. What I showed you is really industry standard. Um, and truly, uh, I've been doing this 10 years. Uh, I could show you my diploma. You gotta, there's no reason not to believe me. Um, so I'm really glad uh, you watched. Everything I said in this video is true. You can check the facts. Um, quick Wikipedia search, uh, you'll see. And, um, well, I guess any of you who follow me on Instagram will see the result of my precise and professional hair coloring. Thank you so much for watching.